Hello everyone, I'm Ryan Matlock, the entrepreneur. You ever wonder, huh, it just feels like today should be a holiday. What a coincidence, me too. Let's go ahead and celebrate one. Like always, we have plenty to choose from, so let's go. Today is February 16th and today is National Innovation Day. No, not put on a turtleneck and announce a new phone that's $200 more than the last phone because reasons day. I'm talking real innovation, like taking words and making them mean new things in a wonderful, wonderful, punning world of goodness. Like making something no one's ever seen before kind of innovation. Of course, this thing you make has to be useful. Like I could dip my camera in chocolate and no one's probably ever seen that, but that's not useful to anyone. Anyone. No one dipped my camera in chocolate. This innovation has to be useful. So I tweeted asking you guys what you needed as a new innovative product. And we'll see if I can innovate something. A mute button on grandparents. Think of it this way though. If you actually like talked to them every once in a while, they'd be speechless. <laughs> a life machine because I don't have a life. Actually, I think that has been created. Let me Google it real quick. Um, yeah, yeah, it actually has been created. It's called a book, a machine that converts reality into that of a musical. That's called Hollywood. Now this next person had some really creative ideas, but unfortunately some of the inventions have already been created or they're you, you don't know what you're asking for, I'm sorry. A floating book holder that turns the page for you so you can keep your hands warm under a blanket. Granted, this sounds awesome, but that's why they invented the gloves and the Snuggie. Admittedly though, I would like an option that probably looks a little bit less like you're in a cult. Suction tube train travel. I really hate that tube. You don't want that. Portal gun. Trust me, you don't want a portal gun. Because if you have a portal gun, then everyone else will have a portal gun. Just think about it. Suddenly, overnight, everyone gets to work like in two minutes. But then after a couple days of this, it just becomes a new norm. And if everyone had portals, I think crime would be significantly easier to achieve. Just think, you can't keep windows open because if someone has good enough aim, they can get inside your house through plink a crack in the window. Banks would be on constant lockdown. Gun control activists would be even whinier than they already are. <laughs> but the worst part? Imagine yourself playing Portal and the atmosphere of playing Portal. It looks something like this. Now imagine that with everyone doing it. There are over six billion people in the world. I rest my case. External thought hard drive, but then when any thoughts that you put on the drive be readable, you want people reading your mind? Using a machine like Siri for drive throughs at restaurants, the customer says their order and the machine uses talk to text type technology. And of course the customer would have to confirm their order because of problems like autocorrect or incorrect orders. Have you heard of the Chick-fil-A app? You can order all the things off their menu from your phone. They're currently one of the only companies that has this kind of drive through ordering so far, but I mean, it's the only drive through you'll ever have to go through. Cause it's Christian! A common sense installer would be an awesome invention. Actually, I'm pretty sure that's also been created. It's called a book, a very specific book. A tree where actual money grows on it. Now here we go, this is something I can get into. This is something that can actually be done. Thank you, Chris, for suggesting that. Woohoo! Just watch me do this. I've done it. This could change the world. In the news, a startup company has created an all new currency called Birchcoin, where you mine for currency using your phone and trees. And tonight, we have its creator, Ryan Matlock, to speak on it. Any thoughts, Ryan? Thanks, Thomas. After the widespread uh, vi virality of Bitcoin and the questionable success thereof, I wanted to make Americans' dreams come true by simply making it possible for money to grow on trees. That's awesome, Ryan. Now, some people online are saying that this isn't real, that it's just a gag for your YouTube show, Fantastic Fridays. So, Ryan, are you scamming us? Oh, just a bit. Was that a Bitcoin pun? I mean, they, I might have coined it as such, but I'm just hoping that my new successful business of Birchcoin takes root. Ah, oh, get out of our studio. 
I guess we're done here. Every day is a holiday, so spread some cheer and let them hear about how we're hating and celebrating how all these weird, funny holidays are. Hey guys, special shout out to Thomas Dunn for being in today's video. I'm just super excited to have gotten the chance to make a video that we both worked on and he did a phenomenal job. His channel is somewhere up here. We're about to eat dinner, so I'm filming this right now. So, bye! <laughs>